Hello, I'm Dina Smith. Welcome to the announcement of the finalists for the 2020 QWF Literary Awards, coming to you from the beautiful and historic Atwater Library and Computer Center. This year, we're doing things a little differently. Every day during the week of October 13th, we will bring you a new video reveal of the finalists for one of seven categories. First book, children's literature, translation, playwriting, poetry, nonfiction, and fiction. Be sure to tune in throughout the week to find out who made the shortlist. Since 1988, the QWF Literary Awards have celebrated the best works published by English language writers and translators of Quebec, as well as those translating English works from Quebec into French. Each award comes with a purse of $3,000. All winners of this year's prizes will be announced during a special celebratory video broadcast gala at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, November 4th, so save the date. Before we get into our category finalists, the QWF would like to thank this year's sponsors. John Blatchford, The Cole Foundation, Concordia University, Librairie Paragraph Bookstore, Gabrielle Safdie, and three anonymous donors. Today we announce the three finalists for the 2020 Concordia University First Book Prize. QWF is proud to have its first book prize sponsored by Concordia University, which offers the only BA and MA English language creative writing programs in Quebec. This year's jury was composed of writers Hassan Namir of Vancouver, Naomi Steinberg of Vancouver, and R.M. Vaughan of Montreal. The first finalist is Kamala Mackerel for Zom Femme, published by Metonymy Press. Kamala Mackerel is a Montreal-based Mauritian-Canadian multidisciplinary artist, educator, and writer. With an artistic practice that is grounded in the exploration of justice, love, and healing, their work acts as resistance to the status quo. Le Mackerel writes and performs in English, French, and Creole. Zum Femme is their debut poetry collection. In it, Le Mackerel mythologizes a queer trans narrative for their home island, Mauritius. Composed of expansive lyric poems, the collection is a voyage into the coming of age of a gender creative child growing up in the 80s and 90s on the plantation island. The second finalist is Madeline Caritas Longman for The Danger Model published by McGill Queen's University Press. Madeline Caritas Longman is a Montreal-based writer and PhD candidate in Concordia's Interdisciplinary Humanities Program. She holds an MA in English from Concordia and a BA Honors in English with a minor in Mandarin from the University of Calgary. The Danger Model is a collection of prose poems, haiku, and experiments with language and form that not only examine the individual search for identity, but also call into question the concept itself. Inhabiting contexts as diverse as the medical system, performance art, queer adolescence, and Talmudic debate, the Danger Model considers what it means to be a self. The third finalist is Yusuf Sadi for Pluviophile, published by Nightwood Editions. Yusuf Sadi holds an MA from the University of Victoria. In 2016, he won both the Melahat Reviews Far Horizons Award for Poetry and the Vallum Chapbook Award. His writing has appeared in numerous literary journals. Pluviophile, which is Sadi's debut collection, veers through various poetic visions and traditions in search of the sacred within and beyond language. Its poems continually revitalize form, imagery, and sound to reconsider the ways we value language, beauty, and body. The collection shifts to diverse locations from Montreal to Kolkata, from the moon to the gates of heaven. Congratulations to all of the finalists and their publishers. You can buy copies of the shortlisted works by visiting Paragraph Bookstore either in person or on the store's website at paragraphbooks.com. Paragraph has a special section dedicated to the QWF Award finalists with all titles available at a discount. 
Be sure to tune in every day at 11 a.m. from October 13th to October 19th to discover the finalists in all of the other categories as they too are announced. And if you miss the initial broadcast, the video will be posted on our website at qwf.org. We'll also be tweeting, Instagramming, and Facebooking. Be sure to follow us online. And don't forget to join us on November 4th for our virtual literary awards gala, where we will be celebrating the finalists and the winners. Happy reading.